Well, we continue live from spring training here in Peoria, Arizona. It's Wyman and Bob, Seattle Sports on 710, and a pleasure to bring this guy back to the program. It's been a bit since we've had a chance to speak with him, but by God, he is here right now. The one, the only, Julio Rodriguez is with us. How are you, man? Uh, really good, really good. How about you guys? We're great. It's How do you how do you beat this? How, how much do you look forward to, to spring training? I know you're still young in your career. Maybe when you're older, you'll be going, oh, I don't want to go to spring training, but right now, are you in the off season? Are you eager to get back? Uh, definitely, definitely. I felt like uh, I was excited to come in here, especially with the team that we have right now. Um, it was really exciting, kind of like building up through the off season to be out here right now. Sounds like you worked hard in the off season, but you you had some fun. I saw you at the the Seahawk game for the Steeler game. You raised the twelfth man flag. Yeah. Was that was that exciting? Uh, what 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 else did you do? It was really fun. It was really fun going out there. It was. My first Seahawks game. Oh, really? Yeah, and like I was able to raise a flag. My family was out there with me, uh, so that was really fun. And I got to go to a few different places, and it was good. I feel like I really enjoyed my off season. Good. Did you go to any other sporting events like hockey? Uh, you go to fights or anything? Um, I went to other football games too. I, w- I had a chance to go to Super Bowl too. Um, so it was it was pretty good. It was pretty good. You 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 picking up football? Is that something you've watched? I feel Close like that's a, that's something I like. I like to watch. I feel like I just go for fun, not to yeah. like be so uh, adamant about it. But I feel like it's a fun, it's a fun uh, switch up yeah. from baseball. Just and it's a it's a fun sport to watch. How, how much time do you do you take off when the season ends? Do you say, all right, I'm taking two weeks and I'm going to relax and eat what I want, do what I want, or is it a, a week, a month? How how much time do you take off? Um, I feel like this off season was a little bit shorter, like to like time off. And I feel like. Like yo, five. I feel like five days into the off season, I was already stretching a little bit. So I feel like I felt a little bit restless, and I feel like I wanted to do some stuff. And I feel I went to the DR a little bit, maybe took like a, like a week off, and then that's whenever I started work, working on we're working out and kind of slowly but surely like building on into like my work season pro, my off season program. Do you go into uh, the off season? Do you have something that you want to work on specifically, or you working on a whole bunch of stuff? What What was your off season as far as that goes? Uh, I feel like focusing in, in different stuff. Like obviously, like my my physical aspect of the game, like how to like keep myself my myself healthy and like on the field as much as I can, and just my overall game. I feel like that's something that I took a lot of pride, not just like being one dimensional player, like but to be able to do a lot of things because. If you see the hitting, like it's always gonna go up and down. But I feel like there's all the things that you can impact the game, with, with, whether it's defense, running the running the bases, you know. Like I was kind of being pressed, or I was being available. I feel like that's a lot of a lot of things that people take for granted, or people like overlook sometimes. But being available is like a, it's one of the the main skills that that you have because you can be as good as you want. But if you're not on the field, then you cannot put on display. When when you look at last year. Just your season individually. What what do you see? Do you do you go back and watch games? Do you go back and look at your swing or look at your defense? What do you? How do you view last season? Um, it was it was good. You know, it was good. But I feel like it can, it can definitely be better. And like, I feel like there was a lot of times that I feel like it could have been better. But I feel like that's what we will have this year for. We have an off season to prepare to kind of like address a little of the things that I thought that I could have been better last year. And now we we have a different year, a different opportunity to to kind of keep improving. Uh. It seems like there's lots of pressure, <laughs> at least, you know, if I'm putting myself in your shoes when, you know, the all-star games there and the home run derby and everything like that, but you handled it really well. That's, has that been one of the tougher things to, to kind of handle some of the, the pressure and expectations and just block all that out? Um, I feel like is it could be tough, but at the same time, I feel like that's kind of, what I have was being thrown in, and I feel like that's something that I really enjoy to be able to do, like a lot of things and be able to drive. Even even though like a lot of people will see that like, it's a tough time, but I feel like throughout tough situation, that's that's when you be like tough character and like you're able to like build into something for like the future. I'm sure when you were a little kid growing up, you were dreaming of being a big leaguer, dreaming of being a superstar, and everybody wants your autograph and to talk to you. And now you're here, everybody knows who you are. You're a superstar. Is it what you imagined? In a way, yes, but there is other things that I didn't thought was, that was going to happen. So it's it's the same, but a little bit different too. It comes with a lot of things that sometimes you wish other people understand that you, even though you're that, you also have things to do. That's not just like being in front of a camera. It's not just like 
about the autograph or about somebody else. I feel like sometimes you got to take your time for yourself. I feel like I wish a lot of more people understood that. But at the end of the day, like, not everybody's going to understand. So I feel like being able to separate that and, like, be able to focus on the things that you need to focus on. Because at the end of the day, the the biggest responsibility I have is just showing up for this team and for these guys that are fighting along, along, alongside me for, for the same goal. And I feel like that's something that I learned how to prioritize. And if a lot of people don't don't see well with that, then I'm sorry. You know, like, I cannot make everybody happy. I feel like I have a... Like I said, I have a duty, I have a responsibility, and I feel that's my priority always. Yeah. Uh, so, Julio, when, when Scott came out, you you live in Tampa in the offseason. Mm-hmm. Tell us about that trip when Scott came out to visit. Uh, where where'd you take him? Did you take him out to dinner? You What would you guys do? What would you talk about? I mean, we talk a lot of different things, you know. We talk about the team. We talk about the off season. We talk about his family, my family. Like, I I didn't took him out for dinner, but I brought him out to my place. Yeah. And I have uh, my chef to cook something for us. I really enjoyed that, and it was good. You know, it was good that he saw like uh, kind of my process, how I go about my off season, and and I feel like he he really liked that trip. And I feel like we both both really enjoyed the conversations and everything. Go, going back to what you were you were just talking about, how people perceive you. You're a guy that plays with a lot of joy. You're out there smiling and having a good time, and I feel like sometimes fans feel like, oh, he's not as serious as he should be. He's not as <laughs> invested. And you you said something this off season I thought was really good, and I'm paraphrasing, but you basically said. As frustrated as you guys may get with me, I'm. You'll never be more frustrated than me, which I thought was great. But do you think people misinterpret your smiling and you're you're having fun out there as not being serious? They definitely misunderstand, misinterpret that because I feel like I'm able to enjoy and have fun out there because I'm prepared. Because I I work so hard behind the scenes, I feel like I don't feel the need of showing people what I truly do behind the scenes, but. I just feel like I, they need to know that I'm out there smiling because I'm working my butt off when they're not seeing that. And I feel like that's what I'm able to just go out there on the field and enjoy because I know I did everything I could to put myself in the best position I can to be able to compete at the highest level I can. And I feel like that's something that once you, once you see somebody enjoying because there's no trouble in their mind and when you have no trouble in the mind as an athlete, it's because you prepare, because you work, because you you – you are basically shedding blood and tears behind the scenes, and people don't will never see that. But I feel like that's something that they can they have to take into account. That if we're enjoying it out there, it's because we we check all the boxes that we got for ourselves that they usually don't see, and that's fine. You know, like they can misunderstand, but at the end of the day, that's why I enjoy this game because I'm prepared, and I'm ready to compete. That's very well said. Uh, if all the things that you do, good throw from the outfield. Smash a home run, rob some, uh, rob a home run in in the field. What, what gets you the most excited? Winning, just winning, helping the team win. <laughs> yeah, that's what brings me the most joy. I feel like that's why I prepare like in, in the in the variety of things because I feel like I can help the team win with a throw from the outfield, with a play in the outfield, with a with a base hit, with a home run, running the bases. So I feel like that's what brings me the most joy, and like that's why I prepare so much because I know, I know there's. There's a lot of different ways to help to help the team win. I feel like I want to be be able to excel in all those different ways. Outside of winning, obviously, do you have any individual goals each season? Do you feel like, man, I want to I want to win a Gold Glove. I want to I want to hit 40 home runs. I want any any markers for you? Um, not really like that because I feel like if you help if you help your team win in a lot of different ways, I feel like all those goals will come along. I feel like all those accolades, and all those different things, they will come along. One because I'm prepared, and two because I'm helping the team win. So I feel like I don't really like to focus a lot into that, but I just know that if I do the right things, all those things will come. When you have downtime, what do you what do you like to do? I like to chill, relax, play video games, talk with my family, talk yeah. with my friends, you know, like connect to my world, you know. I feel like there's a lot of people that are important to me, and I feel like that's something that I like to do when I'm relaxed and just kind of disconnect a little bit to be able to recharge. Just looking at this team, I was we were talking to Jerry yesterday, and it, telling him everybody we've talked to it just feels like maybe there's just a different confidence this offseason compared to last I mean, you were confident last offseason but it just feels like i don't know if it's hunger or intensity does it feel different to you this year versus last year uh definitely i feel like there's a lot more preparation a lot more preparation a lot of more focus and intent if i were to say like that we're definitely hungry but i feel like that hunger like drove 
us to be in the right path, like learning the right things, like focusing on the right things. And I feel like that's that's something that I see from this team that I'm really happy to go out there and compete with them. It got Mitch Haniger back, but let's say during the season, a go-to guy that you you go to to talk to that that helps you either mentally or is there who would be that one guy on this team? Um. On this team, I feel like I'm able to talk to a, to a lot of different guys. I feel like every single, a, a lot of the, the guys here are really easy to just go up, come up and talk because I feel like we all start share the same goal. And I feel like I talk a little bit with, with JP. I talk a little bit with Carl. Um, but, yeah, we always kind of like stay in touch a little by little. But I feel like we all know that we're kind of focused and prepared. And I feel like it's showing right now. It's showing in the spring training, so... I feel like everybody kind of gathered their own team to kind of bring it to spring training, and then we can all share it. Julio, we love watching you play, man. Don't lose the smile. Don't lose the joy out there. It, <laughs> I will never do. <laughs> it's fun to watch you. We really appreciate you taking time, man. Thanks so much. No, thank you.